This is my electric mower field manual. Dozens of tips and tricks to make you a master of the corded mower. There is a simple way to know if a corded electric mower is right for you. Open Google Maps and put in your address. If what you see looks like this, you live in a neighborhood. So you should buy one of these. If you live in a place like this, you should get one of these. And if your land looks like this, you need a tractor and a bush hog. First make sure you have some grounded outlets, preferably one per yard, and then get a long extension cord that reaches the back corners of your yard. If it's heavy, carry it around on your mower. I wouldn't recommend a battery powered mower. Like every battery powered tool, the batteries fail over time. Then you're left with a mower you can't use and batteries you can't replace. Keep your cord in good shape, untying all the knots. And the same goes for the mower. If you have a loose handle, tighten it up. Don't just plug in your mower. Tie it off to your frame instead. This means your mower will never unplug. If you can find one, get one of these awesome dedicated lawnmower cords. It has a button that links the cord to the mower. And then figure out the starting protocol for your mower. This one has a button you press before you push the handbar. It's an old trick to rig up a wire that holds the safety bar down, keeping the mower running hands-free. I wouldn't do this. It's simply too dangerous. Similarly, don't mow barefoot. Before you mow, take a good walk through the yard, picking up anything you might hit with the mower. One of the cool things about an electric lawn mower is that you can mow forwards and backwards. It's lightweight enough to push both ways. When mowing backwards, just make sure you don't mow over that cord. If you do catch the cord moving backwards, just pull the mower forward and free that cord. If you absolutely have to mow over your cord, this is the only way to do it safely. And if your cord is just not long enough, you can always add a second one to get those back corners. Now in mowing with any kind of mower, one of the most important things is getting a good pattern down. With a corded electric mower, that pattern has to bring you away from the outlet. So in this example, the outlet is by the garage, so I start there with the mower and then mow in the other direction. Now mowing when your grass is dry is always ideal, but you can mow wet grass. It's not impossible with an electric mower. You just end up with a lot of grass stuck to the mower, and especially on the underside of the mower. If you have a lot of mosquitoes in your area, try spraying the mower itself with bug spray. And then I got some of these mosquito repellent bracelets, and I actually attach them to the mower, and they seem to keep the bugs away. Getting used to mowing with that cord takes time, but one trick is to always hold it on the side closest to your outlet. At the end of the row here, you can see not only do I turn, but I also flip that cord to the other side and start holding it on my left. One more cord trick. When you get to the end of a row, you gotta step over your cord Swing it out and then keep on going. Make your turn. Step over that cord. Swing it out and keep on going. Now tall grass can definitely bog down your mower. Try the tip back method where you lift up the front of the mower, make a pass and then make a second pass. 
Sometimes it's the only way to give your mower a fighting chance in the tall stuff. The tip back method does have its limits. If your mower gets bogged down, another trick is just to adjust the height. And you can always lower it later. When installing raised beds, make sure there's room for your mower to get through. And then after every mow job, you've just got to clean out underneath your mower. There'll be so much grass under there, you won't believe it. And if you don't clean it, it'll just stick almost permanently to the housing of your mower. And then when you're done, make sure to give your mower a good shake to get all that grass out. People tend to think that sharpening a lawnmower blade is much harder than it is. Annual sharpening is actually very easy. Just remove that blade. Put the blade in a vise if you have one. And then here I'm using Smith's Lawnmower Blade Sharpener. It's a one-sided sharpener that you just pull across the blade. Alternatively, you can use a simple bastard file and just sharpen up that one side of the blade. Your blade doesn't have to be perfect, but a sharp blade cuts so much better than a dull one. Put it back on the way it was, you get back to mowing. <laughs>